All right. Today I want to go over how, how to use a layer mask. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a couple photos, uh, and we're going to use the gradient tool, and we're going to use a layer mask. Now, a layer mask is simply a mask where you make edits, manipulations to your photos in a non-destructive manner. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your photo, excuse me, photo. And here you see Duke. Uh, he's not too happy about having his photo taken. But anyhow, you'll see at the bottom here where my pointer is at, you see a little camera looking thing. That's what you would click to create a layer mask. So just go ahead and click that and you'll notice that a layer mask is opened up right next to the photo here. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to create another layer, a new layer. And you're going to set it at the bottom because we're going to make that the background layer right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, here I'm going to place an image. This is where our second image comes in. So this is just a stock image to come with Windows 7. Uh, go ahead and place it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's see. There we go. Not all these are stock. Some of them I took, but I'm going to use a stock image here. Let's stretch it out and fit it a little bit here. There we go. Got it going there. Press the enter. So now we have my background. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to make sure our layer mask is selected when we do this. And up here you can see, you can use, you can try out any of these gradients you want. I'm just going to use this one here to the uh, black and white gradient, select my gradient tool, make sure my layer mask, let me turn it back on here, make sure my layer mask is selected. Now I'm just going to drag my cursor around, see what it does? Now Control Z on the computer, Command Z with a Mac, you can drag it around, again, until you get it how you want it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him looking like he's spying here. So you notice you don't, you can drag it a long way or short ways. Let's try it a long way here. Let's try it that way. This way. It just, you just drag it till you get it right about where you want it, but I, right about there. Well, no, it's got too much of his eye covered up, so hold on. So I'll get him spying here in a minute. There we go. Now I got him spying. So now he's looking like, you know, he knows that you know that he knows that you know that he knows. So you can just make some really neat, uh, you can do some really neat things with your photos uh, using these layer masks. It's all non-destructive. You, you haven't done anything to the image itself. And here's something you can use color to. You don't have to use a second photo. Here I was just playing, took a picture of an apple. I was just playing around and, I don't know, my twisted mind, I guess, come up with that for a title. But uh, that's some things you could do there. And uh, so that's just uh, showing you how to use a layer mask, uh, two photos, a gradient tool for, manip for manip uh, excuse me, manipulating. You can do a Gaussian blur or whatever with it too, you know. Play around with it and see what you come up with. And I hope this has helped someone and have a good day.